and welcome to today's video. So this time I'm once again joined by my friend Andy. Hello. And we took a trip today to the Shepton Mallet Toy Fair, which is one neither of us have been to for many, many years. Um, wasn't it? My case, never. Yeah, okay. And uh, we were quite lucky this time in that the uh, organiser of Bulldog Fairs, uh, Danny and his sister Kirsty, um, actually sent us sort of early entry tickets. So uh, it was a bit further than usual for us is like another hour on top of Exeter again yeah. isn't it yeah um but we hadn't been there for so long and it was a different sort of selection of dealers some that we'd seen before but lots of new ones yeah uh, some the same as Matford but to, yeah lots, lots of nice new people yeah, to see absolutely and uh yeah. well we think it was a pretty decent show wasn't yes. it yes yeah so well once again starting off with I think we may have seen this dealer before I can't quite remember yes is I it think our, so is it uh, one of the people we know uh but what a lot of stuff to see i mean there really was so this footage here because we were there sort of about 9 30 weren't we yeah. it was an hour before it opened uh, to the general public so that gave me chance to sort of go around and film as much as i could yeah. without you know having to weave in and out of um uh, punters got basically a really, yeah. really good view of the stalls yeah it was good and you know I, i'm not saying we we got loads of access to stuff early but potentially there were some stuff that you know well we got a few things didn't we that yeah. we were pleased to get yeah which we will see um and um yeah we'll put our own finds as usual on at the end um and uh, yeah i think we both did all right this time um so we were joined by our friend gary today who's our marvel specialist collector um although he sadly didn't find anything to add to his collection this time around no he? he was he was having a look at a piccolo um spider-man pop-up book but it wasn't quite uh, good enough condition right but, uh, that's right. Thing, yeah. but let's be honest there's not a lot left that he actually needs is no. there? so, um, <laughs> there's a loose me go spider-man he was tempted oh by yeah that's true but he yeah. didn't actually buy anything no um and um, unfortunately our friend george who also joins us on these couldn't make today either so that that's that's just how it goes isn't it um yeah. I unfortunately won't be able to make the next Matford, but you may well with George. Hopefully, George and I with a bit of luck. Yeah. That, hopefully, yes. And uh, that is August the twelfth uh, at Matford Centre. I next, believe so. That one, yeah, yes. on the on the Saturday. Yeah. Um, so a few comics there. A few, in fact, I haven't seen so many comics in a while. No, they weren't this show. about. A few, few boxes of comics yeah, more here than and the there. Last time, yeah. yeah, absolutely. Lots of Marvel figures. And uh, same mixture of uh, ancient and modern. Yeah. Uh, that we've come to expect. So the modern generation are being well served. Not much in the way of Funko this time, was there? No, in fact, no, there really wasn't. Almost nothing. Um, our friend Steve wasn't at this show. Steve from Global Collectibles, um, and he always has a, a, a good selection. A but there was some Lego player. there as well. Yeah. Um, you know, this store had lots and lots of Lego. And as always, mm. tons of diecast. Yeah, lots and lots of diecast stuff. Much better selection than we've seen. In recent oh, shows, was wasn't there? Bit, you know, yeah, it was better. Yeah. We saw some more TV and film stuff. A bit more. This store was great, comics, wasn't it? Yeah. We uh, we enjoyed this store, um, yeah. and they had uh, copies of Girl uh, Eagle as well, didn't Eagle they? From the 50s, um, yeah. Sheet music. Yeah, the um, they put out quite a few raw commemoratives, I guess, because of the coronation. Yes, some stuff. Yeah, um, yeah it was a nice. It mix. was a, a good store. Yeah, a small store, but well packed, and mm. prices were good as well, yeah. weren't they? Yeah, really good pricing oh. and quality items. Yeah. Yeah, nice couple are running that one. Very, very friendly. And I did avail myself of a choice issue of the Eagle. <laughs> uh, just to say I've got one and uh, they are really, really nice. Yeah. Of their of their time. Of their time. But yeah, they had some good stuff on yeah, there. Aurora kits. kits, yeah. Yeah, some good stuff. Yeah. The, usuals, uh, the usual sorts wide of wide range of uh, oh. more modern die casts. Yep, and this guy had um, loose Lego, I think, as well. I think he did, yeah. There we go. More of the same. Yeah. And some vintage as well. On yeah, one. so a mixture of, mixture of stuff, yeah. yeah. You were on the uh, lookout for vintage max matchbox as usual. Yeah, I was, and um, I particularly wanted to get um, the the lime covered uh, Citrum. Oh yeah, um, because it's one that um, I know it's just been making ridiculous money online. A boxed one about sixty pound, and at loose ones go for about thirty. And um, I did, in actual fact, get one, which we'll have a look at in the end. Right. And uh, I got it for about a tenner, okay. which is a lot for a, a loose matchbox but um i don't want to be paying 60 quid for a boxed mm -hmm. one when a loose one i'll be i'll be happy with so is that, is that a 50s one 
Um, yeah, yeah, like 1958, 59, I think. Oh, right. Yeah, it's around that sort of period. So, um, the DS19. Oh, so, uh, it's quite a nice one. It's got a, like a lemony colour to yeah. it. And um, they, uh, I've been watching a few online and I've even got it as a saved search on eBay and they constantly go for big money. Oh. So, if I get lucky, if I see a really mint one in a, you know, VG Plus or better box, for 30 or more, uh, 30 or, or near about, so I'll probably pick one up yeah. again, but for now I'm going to be happy with that. Okay. Nice selection of die cast on the store. Yeah, it yeah. was, yeah, he had some TV and film stuff, the yeah. Cup and Scarlet, Cup Scarlet uh, the Monkey Mobile he had as well. Oh yeah. I haven't seen one of them in ages. Yeah, some of the nice stuff too. Yeah, the uh, Giraffe, the Chipperfield's Chipper Giraffe, yeah, lovely one that. A few things there I had as a child. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I did like my die cast. Didn't have masses stuff, of them, but I did have Had a few, yeah. I had them on that um, dragster there, actually, in the bottom left. Yeah. Mm, quite tempted by them. These were nice. Yeah. These were mint loose. Look at them. Oh, yeah. They're really, really nice. Yeah. So they're, they're the pricing right. was a little, uh, just I would say, just a touch over. But how often do you see them in that condition, mm. loose, at uh, Toy Fair? They're usually quite... Um, you know, all in a box, a bit loose and random. Yes. These are you could see those have been looked after. They're well organised. That was from a class collection, and that was obviously his boxster, yeah. boxer of which once again I did avail myself of a couple from that collection, uh -huh. uh, which I was uh, pleased to find. I could have probably bought another couple, but I'm trying to be fussy on the boxes, as you know, and yeah. uh, I think it will pay off in the long run. It's, so. it's worth going for quality with that sort of thing. Yeah, I think so. I think so. There's uh, our friend again. Oh, yes, that's Nick. Nick, Nick Milford. Yeah. He was actually still setting up when I was <laughs> filming this. <laughs> yeah. um, as I said, we were, uh, you know, this was about an hour before the public had got in. Uh -huh. um, yeah, yes, it was. And there was a huge queue. Uh, which we'll see once again we'll see in a minute uh, i nipped outside to see what the queue was like and it was it was right around the building yeah um so hopefully the dealers have had a good day yeah. today let's do as usual a decent spread on his yeah very good store. actually yeah very nice that was good lots of classics there mm. still got the birds in a cage from the last <laughs> yeah. matford one there we go odds and sod stall Simon, plenty of room in between stalls again, wasn't yes, there it was this good. time round? Yeah, yeah, it's better than Matford. Really right. comfortable, yeah. really comfortable to browse. I was asking someone. I said I, last time I was here, it was all around the the sort of the gallery area, as it were. Yes. And apparently that was stopped more for fire reasons, fire and safety, oh, health or health and safety, rather than just because of lack of a dealer. Oh, right. I think you know, okay. because in actual fact the hall was full up. Yes, wasn't it? It yes, was it the was. ground floor, and it was full. It was. Um, so it, it possibly it was um, that was the reason behind yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Again. Nice to see a bit of vintage Star Wars. Yeah, all sorts of, uh, yeah. Noticed recently, and we've been discussing it that the prices of on vintage Star Wars have reduced ever so slightly. It's becoming a little mm. bit more affordable now, yeah. which isn't a bad thing at all. And as always, there was plenty of railway items. There was indeed, yeah, yeah lots of railway and train yeah. stuff. And some real vintage stuff. I think there we'll was, see later. yeah, yeah, yeah some yeah. great train sets. Yeah. Uh, even you know, as a non-railway collector, I was like, wow, that is mm, that's really something. Sort of stuff we've ever seen before, spotted. or not recently, no, no not uh, not to our knowledge. No, so uh, we good to see that in the mail. Yeah. Sadly, I was hoping to bump into Dave from Toy Polloi, yeah. um, but he also was busy today, so it was a, a little bit of bad luck from a few of our uh, our friends. Yeah. Now, these were nice, weren't they? These Horn, Hornby yes. uh, sets. This is the, yeah. Now, these these look sort of 50s, early 60s to me, these particular ones, oh, yeah. but there's early 40s ones we've got coming goes, up, haven't we? We've got to go back in time as yeah, you Yeah, it is, yeah. Along the stall, I think. Yeah. Real, the real collection. Yeah. Really fantastic to see. And stuff at the end, but yeah. we will see even more. Yeah, here we are. So these are lots of cheap accessories and, and sets, and then those ones at the back there. Yeah, yeah look, 1947. That's oh. there. Look at them; they're lovely condition. Look, yeah. Very, very nice. Oh, well, yeah. For our untrained eye, yes. <laughs> shall we say they look very, they're very good. Yeah. Maybe, yeah. Uh, and once again, those look boxes of accessories, £10 a pop, no discounts, but looking at the age of them, mm. that once again seems fantastic value, yeah, a tenner each, it really, really does. Yeah. 
Yes, it's more vintage stuff. This is someone who's not been on eBay, you know, because this sort of stuff... That would just seem presumably. so cheap online, yeah, you know. Presumably. Oh, yeah, from once again, our, yeah, untra- as as our untrained railway <laughs> eye, but yeah, it looks cheap. Yeah, yeah it looks like a bargain. Looks. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. Plain Plenty of quality here. Yeah. There was this time. Yeah, there was some good yeah. stuff. Uh, good stuff. Matchbox 70s yeah, kits. It's a 70s Matchbox kits. And there's not that many of them. Uh, I think that stall had three of them on. And uh, we were talking about on the way back about mm. which kits we remember as kids making. And um, I don't think I ever had a Matchbox I didn't. one. Um, I remember them coming out. Yeah. I was I was well into the Airfix kits, really. Bit of Revel, Tamiya yeah. later on. I think mine were, mine were Airfix. Oh, I think, mostly yeah. Airfix for me. I and do remember being... Kits. Really bad at making them, though they never really <laughs> were that good. I could put them together, just about, you know, yeah. I glue them together. Did they used to come with a little pipette of glue sometimes? Uh, Do you remember that? No, I think you had to buy those mostly. Ah, right. I, some, I, I, probably some that I seem to yeah. remember there was a little rubber pipette of glue that you cut the end off yes, the, and you'd dab it. There was some, but you'd yeah. make hell of a mess. You, yeah. Your finger would be like covered in plastic. Yeah, I, I, I yeah. remember buying the tubes of it. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, but no, I wasn't. I was no master modeler. No, <laughs> absolutely not. No, <laughs> didn't have the patience for that. But I did enjoy. It was. It was. I had one particular friend, and uh, he was really into them. Oh yeah. And uh, you know, I would try and like you know build along as it were. But yeah. I was never that good. <laughs> yeah. But they weren't that dear, were they? It was, no, a, it they was a cheap fun. thing. They were just fun. Yeah, cheap, to, cheap to do. I can certainly see the appeal of them, and yeah. we'll see some later on, where there's some super like fifties, isn't it? Early fifties and early sixties yes, airfix. airfix kits. And, yeah. Oh, I was just amazed at it on on the cards yeah, with the headers. Still around, sort of. Now this stall, although it's a bit of a, a bit of a mixture, he had some bargains again, and we noticed underneath he had some TV action and TV twenty, uh, uh, TV TV comic, and, yes. and TV action, which yeah, uh, we should have looked at in a we bit more detail. More really, closely. in Mighty World of Marvel. Huh? Yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, see those a bit later. A bit later on, but that sort of stuff was around. Mm. This is mainly sort of stills and a few. Odd, yeah, odd die casts. Yeah, Again, sort of more a mixture of yeah, sort of last twenty years bits and pieces and yeah. stuff. There's lots of Hot Wheels on there. There was actually, yeah, yeah there was. Some stalls it was like three for a fiver. Mm. I mean, if you had young kids, you could fill your boots. Yeah. You know, if they're just looking for some, you know, cars to play with, sure. um, this is what uh, Sam used to do. Just buy low. He didn't care what condition you're in. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, Sam, my yeah. son. Yeah, he would just, uh, um, just have you know big job lots. Yeah. He had Star Wars toys like that as well. Oh yeah. He'd just play with them. That's, that's it, and get enjoyment from them that way. Yeah. Of course, in another twenty years, when he becomes nostalgic for all, then we're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you can have some of mine, Sam. It'll be all right. You know? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the mid thirties nostalgia. That's right. That's when it kicks in. It is, yeah, big time. I don't know what he'll be nostalgic for. I don't know. We'll see. Hard to say. Yeah, it is. There we go. And trays. Yeah, more trays. Trays, of the trays of the little die casts. Yeah. yeah, as we were saying. I think that was it. That was the store where they were three for a five. Ah, right. He said just for you know. Nothing there that I particularly wanted at all. Okay. But you can see plenty of room. Obviously, we were there, as I said before, the public had gone yeah. in. Even, even just, when it was uh, busy, it wasn't. It wasn't, yeah, you could still get to the tools. Yeah, yeah, the stalls, okay. That's good. And that's the main thing. Yeah. few stalls with lots of Plenty bits and pieces and knickknacks boxes, and yeah. a little bit of retro gaming again this time this is one stall that had some there was another stall with some um, old uh, Game Boy stuff and that All right. um, this wasn't too bad it was like a couple of you know generations ago sort of 15 year old games yeah but, um, that's you know that's sort of collectible now um, I was getting a few comics is this a chap have yeah. the Spider-Man pop that's, up yeah that's you just see it there that's the Spider-Man pop yeah. up yeah okay. 
Yeah, but they look a tiny bit of Cthulhu. Piccolo did a Hulk one as well. Oh, right. Cool. Rummage boxes. Yeah. Yeah. Mixed figures and stuff. And uh, yeah, more comics. More comics. And we were surprised yeah. at all the comics, really. Quite a few, yeah. Yeah. Bits and pieces. Yeah, all sorts. Yeah, odds and sods. Bit of 90s stuff there. On, yeah. Stay on target toys. Yeah. Some original Star Wars there again. Yeah. Nice to see. What was the condition like? Um, the, the, the carded weren't too great, but some of the uh, mini rigs were all right. Uh -huh. um, he had a couple of carded there, but they were a bit, bit, little bit too far gone for me anyway. Right. But um, they were rare, you know. Yeah, some rare. Ones around the corner. I think. Yeah, he had a whole display of those. Yeah. Movies, yeah. Um, once again, nothing particularly too scarce there, but right. you know, they were there. It's not like they've got accessories. Just no, more the, the bear figures, yeah. This is quite an interesting store, isn't it? Yeah, the yeah. giant robot there, giant lots robot of... There. Uh, Doctor, the, I think that was a... Was that one of the 60s Daleks? The, the, the yeah, bagged one there, possibly. Pulse. Yes, that's the 70s one. Uh, 70s. That's the 70s talking. Ah, oh, right. Bag. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah, a fair bit of the Doctor Who, a lot of the um, B&M stuff, of course. Oh, yes. um, and character option figures. Yeah. But he was mainly the only one with that stuff yeah, at the yeah, show, was, wasn't he? You know, yeah. yeah. So the Doctor Who fans were looked after. <laughs> yeah. It's getting more sort of nineties, some wrestler stuff as well, wasn't it? Yeah, it was all there. Mm. I see, some of that wrestler stuff has been uh, making good money. Yes. So uh, the nineties yeah. stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely popular. Trains, like clockwork ones or something. Yeah. yeah. It was a couple of stores which had quite a bit of tin, one tin yeah. plated uh, yeah, stuff, which uh, once again it's not something we've usually seen mm. um, at Matford. Not so um, much. Because we're higher up in the country, so as you look at it, Matford is, is really you know, v very much southwest. This mm. is the next bit up. I mean, we were virtually in Bristol, weren't we? Yeah, it's not too um, far from Bristol, as, Bath area. Yeah. 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 So what's that, 100 miles from London? Mm. Bit, yeah, there or thereabouts, ish, yeah. yeah, about a hundred and a bit from London. Yeah. Give you a bit of an idea about where we are. Yeah, and that was that Dougal's um, car. Dougal's car. Magic round of that one, yeah. Sixty quid. We almost pulled the trigger on that. At least I did, because that was the exact yeah. one I had. Yeah, but she wouldn't go down to fifty. Yeah, so this is a good um, store. we left this it behind. This is one of the best stores here. Yeah, fantastic. This is store. Steve Hain, Time Tunnel Toys Hayne. in Bristol. Yeah. that Carson City place that is massive. It is huge, it's, isn't it? It's, I mean, if you have it out and set up, it's massive. Oh, ah, fantastic. But he got a lot of stuff uh, from a recent buying trip to the States. Right, from the States. Somewhere yeah. near Chicago, Rockford. Rockford. Yeah, oh, uh, right. in Illinois. And he went to huge antique malls there. He yeah. Lots of and stuff. Picked up, yeah. And this is some of that. Yeah. yeah, Bonanza Range Horse there with the little Joe figure from the 60s. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff. That's nice, a Thunderbird Stingray Give a Show projector, the yeah. combined one, which is rare. And you said that was just £40? Uh, 40 I think you wanted that. The, the box, the box wasn't rough, yeah. quite nice enough for me. But yeah, uh, yeah. it was nice, it wasn't it not bad. I was very tempted. I, I did buy some other things, but yeah, uh, yeah I was tempted. Um, yeah, but perhaps the best all there. Uh, yeah, for, for, the, yeah. for our sort of nice, stuff. Yeah, he had a nice uh, a $6 million man lunchbox there. He had a very nice... Planet of the Apes one, which is also again very tempted. With. Really, yeah, Brilliant. yeah. What a great! I mean, that it's fantastic. Yeah, that will be the thumbnail to the video mm. today. I think because it's such a good store. Yeah, but he picked a lot of the stuff up from the states just right. about two weeks ago. Right, so fresh from the yeah, states. And he, was, yeah. he was having a nice, very nice fella. Um, yeah, Stevie was uh, having a chat with me, mm. saying he'd been to the American Pickers shop at Leclerc, Iowa. Oh wow! How yeah, fantastic! There, yeah, interesting. Yeah. Another great show. Yeah. Which I'm sure everyone who watches this channel knows all about American yeah, Pickers. Yeah. None of the TV cast were there. Oh, today, yeah, shame, so, yeah. He yeah, <laughs> had a good time, so it's a lovely town as well. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Well, once again, thank you to my Patreon and channel members. Appreciate the support. And uh, I guess for the free tickets, we ought to give the Bulldog Fair so, uh, an extra shout-out. Definitely, out. thank you very uh, much. Uh, yeah, indeed, absolutely. So thanks, Danny. We'll um, 
uh, add you to the uh, next time I update the supporter credits. I shall add Bulldog Fairs on there with your web address. So, uh, but very easy to find. Um, you know, just search Bulldog Fairs online, and you'll go straight to the uh, the website. Yeah. These were nice. So uh, on the way up, I was saying I was looking for co the the Kojak Buick, but the small Corky Juniors. Oh ones. yes. And uh, we were on the. It was on the radar. I think I saw a loose one. Yeah. But we didn't find a carded one in the end, did yeah, we? Um, that's right. Oh, this is Alan Hall's site. Oh yeah, Alan Hall with the models, Action models Man. Models yeah. Loft. yeah. Fantastic stuff. Yeah. Lovely yeah. Action yeah. Man Who stuff. I did buy an item off. Oh okay. Which yeah. I, I I don't know what you bought. Yeah, so uh, yeah, looking <laughs> forward to, to seeing these. Yeah. yeah but uh, yeah, again, yeah, Alan Hall, nice yeah. chap. Yeah, there's action man. I just love him. Yeah, and his wife is very nice. He's got some good stuff, hasn't he? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Been around a long time yes, in the game. Yeah, nice quality stuff, Alan. Yeah. Yeah, a fair bit of modern Star Wars, but not, you know, not falling over it, if you mm -hmm. know what I mean. Yeah. But it was there. It was there. If that was your thing. Yeah, there we go. The mixture again. Yeah, so we have thought about potentially going a bit further afield, haven't we? May do. May, May do. do. It's, it's certainly not off the agenda. No. Um, we shall uh, we shall see how things go. Yeah, it's a bit further up country. Yeah, I mean, obviously, it's uh, we don't really want to be doing overnighters to these. We want to just sort of go up and down in a day. Yeah. It's just going to mean starting a little bit earlier than we're used to. But yeah, but we can do that. We're okay. We can do it. <laughs> we shall spread our wings a little. Britain stuff Britain there. Yeah, there was yeah, a yeah, few those, nice Britain stalls. There was one store that had a couple of catalogues on, which, um, oh, yeah. even if I don't collect it, I love looking at I what do, was yeah. produced. Have, you know, you've got some, I've got, got a 70s one, I think. Somewhere. Yeah, in they're, fact, this was 70s actually. Interesting. Yeah, they put uh, a lot of stuff out in Britain. So. Yeah. yeah, more comics. Even at that period, I mean, obviously going way back, yeah, an awful lot of stuff with lead soldiers and things, mm. but yeah. Well, in, into the seventies, there was certainly certainly a lot cool. of product. And this is uh, Focus Toys. Um, uh, he's in Honiton. Yes. And uh, we are actually going to pay this chap a visit. So yeah. we're going to do the Honiton bookshops, and uh, we're going to go up to the uh, Focus Toys as well because um, he's got a proper retail store. Yeah. Um, and I did buy a couple of bits off him, so thanks very oh. much for those. I said I'd give him a shout out, and uh, we're going to be along. Um, we just need to fix up a date, don't we? We'll and, do that. Uh, we'll try and do that over the next couple of months yeah. if we can. But tie in with the Honiton bookshops as well. That'd yes. be a good trip. That'd be great. Yes. Yeah. Excellent yeah, stuff. That's a nice selection. Yeah. So around this time, after I remember, I bought a couple of bits of off Focus Toys. It was about the time the doors were about to open. Right. So I thought I'd nip out and just get a feel for uh, the queue there. And um, there they are. And it was queued right round the block. Loads of people waiting to get in. And then I popped in the office and saw um, Kirsty, which is Danny's sister. Oh, yes. She uh, she looks after a lot of the admin side of it. So uh, I said, I'll put you in the video. It'll be all right. Yeah, you know, behind so, the scenes, eh? Yeah, a bit of behind the scenes. But once again, thanks to Danny and Kirsty for looking after us today. And then here they are. So this is the, uh, flooding in. Yes. They were they coming got, in. They got busy quickly. They got busy quickly, yeah, because yeah, there was a lot of people waiting to come yeah. in. So uh, the weather was good. And, uh, yeah, what better way to spend a Sunday Indeed. than coming to a toy fair? That's what I say, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Now, here we are. Back to the toys. So I'd I'd filmed up to about half at this point, maybe just over. Right. And then we just had, you know, as, as the people started coming, I had the last sort of... Um, third maybe to do uh, yeah. to film and there were some good stalls uh, particularly it's the back wall there was a stall uh, I think it's an original owner collection and we'll see his stall in a minute but it's fantastic oh. die casts um, and he actually had some Chipperfield Circus that I was uh, that I needed um, but by this point I'd already spent my budget for the day really okay. um, but I've made a mental note uh, of what he's got um, because as you know, I've been struggling to find them online in tip-top condition. Yes, yeah, so, so uh, and very rare to find them at the shows in that state, and they were lovely. Mm -hmm. um, and I think someone, literally, as I got there, was buying another piece off him uh -huh. um, just before I got there. So uh, yeah. I think he was doing all right. He was there with his son, this guy. Um, and there was some good stuff to be had. Oh, 
Ah, here's the old model kits. Anyway. There they are, yeah, yeah. yeah with the carded headers. Yeah, that's how they're See, I didn't realise they came like that before they, they got boxed. Yeah. But some of the boxed ones, I have to say, some of the cars in there are just fantastic. Mm, Those little ones there, the 32 yeah. scale. Yeah, they're lovely. Just awesome. Yeah, it's a polar lights odd job. Yeah. Yeah, yeah nice stuff. They really are nice, aren't they? Like you say, the the uh, airplane there. Yeah. Good stuff. A cross artwork, I think. Yeah, those just those simple cars. I just mm. just great artwork on them. Really, really good. Yeah, nice to see them in the flesh. Yeah. Now this was a good dealer. This guy had quality stuff. He did. Display case on the end. Um, he had good yeah, toys. Tempting. Overflowing. Um, yeah. We saw that, didn't we? What was that? One four five on the Toyota. Think, yeah, was that was cheap. Was that was that seemed cheap to me. Um, I, in the end, I bought three items off this oh, store, right. um, and I spoke to the dealer's wife, and she's a collector herself, oh, right. and she knew all about the Matchbox toys. Uh, she knew them inside out, mm -hmm. uh, rarities, rare, r you know, variations and stuff like that. She, so it wasn't. I wasn't expecting that, you know, because you didn't find many female collectors of die cast, but she knew her stuff. Okay. And she herself said, yeah, I'm just happy to have one of each, which is what, yeah. what I'm going to be. But, yeah. Um, yeah, it was a good stall. It just went on and on and on, and they kept pulling more and more stuff out as I was getting there. As I said, you know, even though the doors had opened by now, they were still, like, um, tinkering with the stall to get it yeah. looking as good as possible. They were still setting it up. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, there was loads of stuff. And you can see the general conditions is excellent. Yeah. It's, it's, it's yes. good stuff, you know, and good quality. Yeah, nothing tatty there. No. Yeah, groovy stuff. Yeah. This is more modern by the look of it. Yeah. Fairly modern. Yeah. And this was the this was unusual to see Playmobil. Playmobil, yeah. Oh, so much of it. Yeah. There was like three big rockets, a yeah, train, and train, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very unusual to yeah, see Playmobil like that. I suppose it's got its collectors, you sure. know. Yeah. So the more modern sets there. Oh, yeah. Just as far as the eye can see. It was, wasn't it? Yeah. I think, uh, you know, in certain lines, you could have got most of them if you'd wanted, you know. Probably. Yeah. 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 You could. There's certainly lots to see. Yeah. Quite a lot of military stuff this time. Very more there than was, usual. Yeah. Yeah. It's unusual, but yeah, you do. Sometimes you see it like that. Say these some of these stores went on and on. Yeah. Yeah, filled with people goodies. did seem to have bigger stalls. I yeah. Think. Some of the Matford people had more there than they do at Matford. Yeah. 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 They spread out a, a bit of, and a uh, yeah. different sort of market maybe. Yeah, I know. It's sport for choice this time around. Uh, I think it's. I've never seen so many at one show before. Mm. Um, and I did overhear a couple of dealers saying how hot it still is. It's a hot area of collecting. Really, Matchbox at the moment. Yeah, I just think they represent better value for money mm. compared to other other ones out there. I mean, yeah. admittedly, they're not all, all. You know, perhaps not as old as the classic it's corgi true. stuff. Com compared to dinkies and corgis of the period. Yeah. Yeah, I get me. Oh, I don't know what the reason is. Unless you Why? want crazy variations, yeah, they are relatively cheap. Maybe sure. just because they're more plentiful. They were cheaper at the time, maybe, so they made more. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I don't know the exact number of what Matchbox, the Matchbox factory, were pumping out each week, but it's a lot. Right. In their peak, it was right. it was a, a masses. That was the mighty world of marvels. Yeah, which they're gone. So someone bought so the whole box. Lot, yeah. I reckon they were dirt cheap, like a tenner for the box or something <laughs> like that. I really do. I don't think it, they would have wanted much for it. Right. And they've gone. Yeah, I reckon about a tenner a box. You would have let them those go. as a kid. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Every issue. <laughs> Ah, yes. 
Yeah, a few, quite a few bargains on this store. Yeah. So that's the only collector's case you saw in Xbox? It was, this time around, yeah. yeah. And it wasn't quite... I'm still on the lookout for really mint ones, but they are few and far between now because the plastic just ripples on them. But mm. I'm prepared to pay, be patient, you know, because it's only at the end of the day a collector's box. Sure. But there's different, loads of different box art, and they are really quite attractive. So yeah, they're nice. I'd like to uh, get some... Uh, for Saren, put them on top of my display case. I got room for I reckon three, okay. which would be they look quite nice, you know. But I want to choose the really <laughs> nice ones, you know. <laughs> Mister Fuss. A few more trays of uh, uh, TV and Corgi Juniors, those aren't they? And TV related ones. Yeah. Yeah, a pound each or three for two. That wasn't bad, was yeah. it? You know? It was an ultra. Okay, yeah. Let me see. But yeah, sadly no Corgi, uh, Corgi Kojak Buick this time round. But no. I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for the next show. It'll turn up. Yeah, it'll turn up. Yeah, definitely. I say there's a couple of variations as well. Yeah. At least one variation we know of different cards and All stuff. Right. This is unusual. Egg cups from two pounds each. I'm not missed, quite sure about that. Missed that stall. Yes, yeah, so, must have been someone's <laughs> personal collection, I think. Okay. You know, but they had, uh, it was one of the more unusual ones. You yeah. know, there's some fun ones there. I have to say, you know. All right. I think is this Britain's or something similar? And what the mimic? You know, mimic. Yeah, merit. Yeah. Merit mimic sets. I don't know. Yeah. Very very small. Mm -hmm. Lots of buses. And this is coming up to the chap who was selling his personal collection. He was there oh. with his son. Incredible quality items. I mean, this box stuff was really something, mm -hmm. as we'll see. You know, much better than what we've seen usually. You know, this is good stuff here. Okay. And the prices, well, th there was no real bargains, but he would take a little bit off. Right. Um, so he had, as I got there, he was selling a Chipperfields item, and he had two other bits that I was quite I did tempted see the store. I remember seeing the Studebaker Golden Hawk. Yeah. yeah. A couple of those around. Yeah. Massive seller for Corky, that was. So his pricing was on point. Um, you know, I'd, but he was at the very back wall. So by the time I got to him, I pretty much spent my budget. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Although there was a cash point on site, of course. As, I don't know if you know, it's near the loose. So yes, you can was. always pull cash out. Yeah. And I did say, do you take card? And he sadly didn't. Oh, right. Else I might have pulled the trigger on those other two that I fancied. Right. Um, but. You know, I don't want to finish the set too soon because there's not that many to get, is there, in the chip No, right? not too, but it's manageable. Isn't yeah, it? absolutely. Just haven't got much room in the cabinet, yeah, Andy. This is good quality stuff. Yeah, you can see. You yeah. can just see it from a mile off. Mm. And I think it's all his, like, original stuff. All right. And, uh, yeah, some more... Um, this is a different store now, I think, mm -hmm. uh, with uh, some more... I guess, no, actually, this was the same store. Yeah, okay. this is the same chap again. Just a little bit closer in. Yeah, looking at some of his other stuff. You can see it's pretty nice gear, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It's nice stuff. Yeah, so a good old good old show was had. Yeah. Now, um, as is tradition, we like to let people have a little gander at what we actually picked up at the Shipton Mallet show. So... Without further ado then, I think we should, uh, well, this is going to finish in, this is the last couple of stalls, and then uh, we'll, yeah, uh, we'll have a quick look at her. We'll dig at our goodies. Our treasures of the day. Yeah, and see what, see what we found. But as you can see, by the time we're filming this last stall, it was busy, busy, busy. Yeah, it, it was probably peaking at this yeah. time. Yeah, amazing. Good stuff. Yeah. They all seem to be taking money as well. Yeah, yeah. which is good. It's good to see. Yeah. Healthy. Yeah. Okay then, Andy, so this is our pickups. So this is what I got. So this set here, 2018, so 40th anniversary of Star Wars. And this was uh, by Helix. And um, they famously did that fantastic range back in the 1970s. Some of this I've got. I've got like a couple of the, the pencil cases. I've got some pencils. Right. I never, ever got around to getting the original... <laughs> That's 
Death Star. That's the item everybody loves. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, yeah absolutely brilliant. I do remember in the 90s um, speaking to David Oliver uh, about a big... Uh, I think he specialises in stuff for the very first movie. All oh, right. And he was after just one or... This is back then, one or two, to finish off a shop display of the Death Star. Oh, yes. So uh, very, very scarce. So anyway... It was a tenner for the set. I'm just going to open it up, and we're actually going to use it as uh, actual items. But okay. I particularly wanted it for the uh, the uh, pencil sharpener. Um, and um, that pile of Eagle comics there, I actually just picked up this one rather nice one with a great um, Dan Dare uh, okay. strip, 1958. 25th of April. Yeah, 25th of April, 1950. It's a volume 9, number 17. They had a huge pile there, didn't they? They, they? Did. they had a couple of years' worth. At a least. great story, The Phantom Fleet. Yeah, it's fantastic, <laughs> isn't it? Absolutely the most classic yep. Frank Hampson Real, the classic artwork. classic period, yeah. You're yeah. still doing it by this. And uh, I, I went through the cover to find the most beautiful looking cover I could, and that was it. So uh, really, really pleased with those two items. Yeah. And then in a more traditional sense, I got some cars. So I managed to find the uh, the little Citroen DS19 that I was after, the, the lemon-coloured colored one. Um, a little bit grubby, but I think... I'm confident that's going to uh, clean up quite nicely, but as I say, it's a very expensive one. That okay. I picked up um, Matchbox number four, the Gruesome Twosome. <laughs> Sounds a bit like Penelope Pitstop. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, spoilers. Gruesome Twosome. Yeah, spoilers. <laughs> um, uh, which was quite good. I got um, the Maserati Bora. Yeah. Number thirty-two. A later one. Uh, this is one of the the Rollomatics, oh. but I, I really like these, and this is. In the uh, the seventy five yeah. logo boxes, I like, I like and that was the the stoat. And then I got this one, which I've already got this one loose. Yeah. And this is the one where you roll it along. It's got the uh, yeah, the fans at the back. The fans at the back. Yeah. So I've got a loose one of this, but I was really really pleased to see yeah, Turbo Fury. Really pleased to see it in its box, which yeah. um, you know I'm, I'm edging more and more towards the the box delights here. Yeah, and then. What have you got there? What Andy? have I got? Well, there's plenty of room in the camera, should see. So, okay, so we better there. start yeah. with Penelope Pit Stop. Her help, her there help. we go. <laughs> there we go. Now, I'm not one for usually for buying instant jewelry sets. In fact, this is a first. <laughs> um, but I love anything to do wow. with wacky races. Yeah, uh, yeah this is yeah. from 1971, so I think it's from the Penelope Pit Stop spin off show, which had her in and the Antil Mob. The, the Perils as, of Penelope yeah, Pit Perils Stop. Of Penelope yeah. Pit Stop had the Antil Mob supporting characters. Cool. Of course, the other spin off for it was. Kind of dastardly and muttly. Uh, stop, yeah. S yeah. Stop the pigeon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, I just couldn't resist that. You find it really for the artwork, the car yeah. artwork. But... Anything on the back? No. no just, blank, yeah, that's, just, and yeah. that would have been, it's got a popper there, which hasn't been. Yeah. So it just would have been in, a, there. in a, an American drugstore, as they say. I guess. Yeah. yeah. But uh, that's, that's, I think that's one of the things he brought back, Steve Hayne brought back from right. the States. Okay, that's so fantastic. That. Yeah. So that, yeah. Can move that out of the way. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Let's pop it over here. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. This little beauty. The Lone Ranger. The Lone Ranger. So, so this is wow. the Mark's Lone Ranger, Gabriel Toys in America. Okay. Um, anyone who's collects these will know how hard this character is to get mint complete loose. Right. And, and this, that's what is this is yeah. mint complete loose. Wow. Yeah. Um, both guns are there. The mm. hat's in good condition. The mask is very often missing. Yeah. Really hard to get the um, the blue costume all nice and blue and not yeah. discoloured. Yeah, lovely, lovely loose wow. figure. Uh, is that the guns there then? Yeah, uh, the, the, yeah, both got his six guns, yeah. Oh, fantastic. So yeah, I've been after those, one of those for a long time. Wow, wow, wow. And the other bits I got, yeah. <laughs> you might have to zero in on these, okay. are these two little items. Right. Now these are uh, part of the gear that came with the Mark's secret agent figure in the 60s. Right. Um, that looks like... A lighter. That's a cigarette lighter, and that is one of the. Um, there's a grenade launcher, and it's, oh, right. it's one, of the, one of the three grenade launcher missiles. Um, it That's came with amazing. amazing over sixty items of gear. The right. Mike Hazard, he's called Mike, Mike Hazard, Hazard double ah, agent. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm now down to one piece of gear, which is oh. another one of those mortar bombs. It right. came with three. I now have two. And then and you've the got lighter the is super hard to find. Really? So tiny. Yeah. Some of the items with it are really small. So I was surprised and delighted. Although they don't look much, <laughs> they, they pleased me a great deal. Oh, fantastic. And that's my purchases. Oh, brilliant. Well, I think we can both agree we had a good day, didn't yeah, we? We, we did had a really it. good sure day. Did. Yeah, brilliant. So fantastic. Well, look, um, 
I hope you've enjoyed looking through the video today. If you have, do please give it that thumbs up. Do please hit the subscribe button if you've not already for regular vintage toy fair action. And we shall look forward to seeing you again very soon. Bye. Bye-bye.